You're on a plane when suddenly, boom, a loud explosion. The cabin shakes, alarms blare, and the aircraft tilts sharply before it starts to drop. Passengers scream, but you try to remember the safety rules for an airplane crash. Put on your life jacket, but don't inflate it until you're outside the plane. But what if the plane itself had a life jacket? I'm talking about something that inflates in seconds right before impact. Kind of like a giant airbag for airplanes, only this one wraps around the entire fuselage. When it deploys, the plane basically turns into a big, puffy Michelin Man cocoon. I know it looks kind of funny, but that funny looking idea could actually save hundreds of lives and change the airline industry for good. Yep, plane crashes could finally become a thing of the past, but only if we're willing to make one huge trade-off. Don't worry, I'll get to that. In June 2025, Air India Flight 171 took off from Ahmedabad, India, heading to London. But just seconds after takeoff, it crashed straight into a nearby medical building. It was heartbreaking. All 12 crew members and 229 passengers lost their lives that day. Incredibly, one man, 40-year-old Vishwash Ramesh from the UK, survived. He'd been sitting in seat 11A, right next to an emergency exit. According to preliminary investigations, both switches controlling the plane's fuel supply were shut off just seconds after liftoff. Without fuel, the engine simply didn't have enough power to keep climbing. Now, imagine the fear the pilots and passengers must have felt, realizing there was no way out. This tragic event stuck in the minds of two engineers from the Birla Institute of Technology and Sciences in Dubai, Eshel Wasim and Darsan Srinivasan. They couldn't stop thinking about it, or about all the lives lost. So, they decided they had to do something. One question kept running through their minds. Why isn't there a system that helps people survive after a plane failure? Because the truth is, most airplane safety technologies are designed to prevent crashes, but very few help you survive one. And that's where their idea took off. They wanted to create something different, something that could truly shape the future of aviation. So they dove into hours and hours of intense research and development and came up with a project called Rebirth which they describe as the first AI-powered crash survival system. But the world is already calling it something else. The crash-proof airplane. Sounds awesome, but how does it actually work? Well, like I mentioned earlier, it's similar to that good old safety feature we all know from cars, airbags. Only in this case, they don't protect passengers inside the cabin. Instead, these airbags wrap around the outside of the aircraft triggered by advanced AI detection systems. But actually, the project goes way beyond just an inflatable aircraft design. In total, their system uses five smart technologies to help when a crash is inevitable. These features can predict crashes, slow the aircraft, protect passengers, and even guide rescuers to the scene. Time to get into some aviation safety explained. First, there's AI detection. The rebirth system kicks in the moment a plane leaves the ground. Think of it like having a super intelligent Siri or Alexa on board, but one with a PhD in airplanes that can practically become the pilot if needed. This AI constantly monitors altitude, speed, engine performance, direction, fire sensors, and pilot response. Basically, it's connected to everything happening during the flight. If something feels off, it raises an alert. And if a crash becomes unavoidable below 3,000 feet, the system automatically activates and can even take control of the aircraft. Next up, the airbags. If there's a system failure and a collision becomes inevitable, the AI activates high-speed airbags. In less than two seconds, they inflate like a giant piece of popcorn bursting open. The airbags pop out from the front, bottom, and back of the plane. Then they blow up until the whole plane looks like a flying bounce house. This tech is made of layered fabric that absorbs the impact and protects the plane's body. In theory, this protective padding makes sure the landing isn't too rough, no matter how fast the plane's going. Next, we've got something called reverse thrust. It's actually something pilots already do. 
Reverse thrust happens when a plane's engines push air forward instead of backward, and that helps the plane slow down after landing. But let's say it's a critical situation. The pilot's unconscious and the engines are still running. That's when the rebirth system kicks in and automatically switches the engines into reverse mode to slow the descent. And if the engines are completely out, no worries. That's when gas thrusters kick in. These boosters fire up to reduce the aircraft's speed and stabilize it during the fall, cutting the impact force by up to 20%. Then we've got smart fluids. These are special materials hidden inside the walls and seats. They stay soft and comfy most of the time. But the moment there's an impact, they instantly harden to absorb the shock and protect passengers from getting hurt. And finally, we have the rescue aids phase. After impact, the system shoots out an infrared beacon, GPS coordinates, and flashing lights, plus a bright orange coating, so rescuers can spot the plane and reach survivors fast. For now, it's just a prototype, but a very promising one. Their simulations showed a reduction in impact force of over 60%, and that could truly be life-changing. At this point, they've got the data, the simulations, and the design all ready to go. The next step is to put it through real-world testing, like in wind tunnels and controlled conditions. And even though everyone's pretty excited to see this airplane's safety technology working, there are still some concerns. Remember that major trade-off I mentioned earlier? Well, here it is. Adding airbags to planes would massively increase their weight because these airbags would have to be huge to actually reduce the impact forces of a commercial aircraft. And if they're that big, then they're going to be super heavy too, right? There are also some concerns about how effective the AI monitoring system would really be. Experts explain that while AI could sense a plane's proximity to the ground and decide when to deploy safety measures, there are still many real-time variables to consider when making an off-airport landing. And as for those giant airbags, adding them to commercial planes would make the aircraft much heavier, which might not be all that practical. It would require massive innovations in airplane engineering, all to prevent a type of accident that might only happen once in decades. So yeah, not everyone's totally convinced just yet. Because we have to remember, airplane crashes are actually very rare, even if it doesn't always feel that way. Lately, people on social media started coming up with theories that they're becoming more frequent, but that's just not true. Statistics show that there's been a decline in air accidents over the past two decades. Experts say you're actually a lot safer flying than you are driving to the airport. The odds of someone passing away during a commercial flight are incredibly low about 1 in 13.7 million passenger boardings worldwide. What I mean is, air travel is still the safest way to get around. But hey, if we can make it even safer, why not, right? And that's exactly what the Rebirth Project is all about. By the way, their idea is so impressive, it became a finalist for the prestigious James Dyson Award, an honor given to inventions that could truly change the world. And even though their idea could be a winner, the team says fame isn't the goal. They see this competition as a chance to push their vision forward, to make air travel safer for everyone, and maybe one day help save lives when everything else fails. So yeah, there are still some challenges, but this new safety tech could truly change the airline industry once and for all. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.